There's the sinkhole. Yeah, my gray wacky bedrock. That's the marine terrace on the Mendocino coast. That's relatively new. And we know this or heard this from a friend who is a kayaker, professional kayak guide. And he had been taking groups into these sea caves on the coast about 500 yards that way, west. <laughs> and there's amazing channels and sea caves to explore on kayak. And he's been poking into a sea cave. I forget they gave it a funny name, dinosaur cave or something. And one day, a few years ago, there was light shining through it and this had collapsed. So we know that some of these sinkholes, despite having vegetation coming down the slopes and looking maybe worn are pretty new and recent and at any time they can occur. There are some telltale signs on the landscape. This isn't a remote area, so no one was probably watching it near homes or anything like that, but sinkholes are active and actively eroding and recent. They're not eons old as some people, some of the signage on a couple of the sinkholes have indicated they might be a hundred years old or 50 years old. The waves, again, they take advantage of weak spots in the fissures and the cracks and rifting in the reef and the cliff face and in the reefs on the coast and they follow those cracks and erode them until they create a sea cave that gets large enough to weaken the roof above it and then the bedrock collapses in on itself. It's really scary and it's really majestic and awesome. Mendocino Coast, geology and tectonics of the Marine Terrace. Here we are, Marine Terrace 1 and there Gray, wacky, Cretaceous-aged, hard, old sandstone with marine terrace deposit younger sandstones on top at the sinkhole. 